Welcome to selections from the Upanishads, Mundaka Upanishad, an ancient Hindu text, part one of two, on words of wisdom. Hinduism is believed to be one of the oldest living religions in the world, with origins tracing back to the ancient Vedic civilization in India. The earliest Hindu scriptural text, the Rig Veda, was compiled in approximately 900 BC. Other sacred Hindu scriptures include the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Ramayana, among others. Of all the Vedic literature, the Upanishads are known for their in-depth exploration of concepts that are at the spiritual core of Hinduism. The teachings in the Upanishads are generally presented as dialogue between teacher and disciple. Many of these conversations elaborate on the spiritual seeker's path to the highest inner truth. Included in the discussions are concepts like Atman, generally defined as the higher self or the soul, and Brahman, the Supreme Lord who represents absolute truth. The oneness of soul and God is also key to Vedic teachings and leads to further discussions about the unity of all life and the unchanging nature of truth. Today we will share with you excerpts from the Mundaka Upanishad. This Upanishad focuses on the science of the higher knowledge, the nature of Brahman, and how to gain liberation and bliss through becoming one with Brahman. Mundaka Upanishad First Mundaka Second Khanda Those who practice penance and faith in the forest, tranquil, wise, and living on alms, depart free from passion through the sun to where that immortal person dwells, whose nature is imperishable. Let a Brahmana, after he has examined all these worlds, which are gained by works, acquire freedom from all desires. Nothing that is eternal, not made, can be gained by what is not eternal, made. Let him, in order to understand this, take fuel in his hand and approach a guru who is learned and dwells entirely in Brahman. To that pupil who has approached him respectfully, whose thoughts are not troubled by any desires, and who has obtained perfect peace. The wise teacher truly told that knowledge of Brahman through which he knows the eternal and true person. Second Mundaka, First Khanda. This is the truth, as from a blazing fire sparks, being like unto fire, fly forth a thousandfold. Thus are various beings brought forth from the imperishable, my friend, and return thither also. That heavenly person is without body. He is both without and within, not produced, without breath and without mind, pure, higher than the high imperishable. From him, when entering on creation, is born breath, mind, and all organs of sense, ether, air, light, water, and the earth, the support of all. Fire the sky is his head, his eyes the sun and the moon, the quarters his ears, his speech the Vedas disclosed, the wind his breath, his heart the universe, from his feet came the earth, he is indeed the inner self of all things. From him comes Agni, fire, the sun being the fuel. From the moon, Soma, comes rain, Parganya, from the earth, herbs. The seven senses, Prana, also spring from him. The seven lights, acts of sensation. The seven kinds of fuel, objects by which the senses are lighted. The seven sacrifices, results of sensation. These seven worlds, the places of the senses, the worlds determined by the senses, in which the senses move, which rest in the cave of the heart, and are placed there seven and seven. Hence come the seas and all the mountains. From him flow the rivers of every kind, 
Hence come all herbs and the juice through which the inner self subsists with the elements. The person is all this, sacrifice, penance, Brahman, the highest immortal, he who knows this hidden in the cave of the heart, he, O oh friend, scatters the knot of ignorance here on earth. Second Mundaka, Second Khanda Manifest, near, moving in the cave of the heart, is the great being. In it everything is centered which ye know as moving, breathing and blinking, as being and not being, as adorable, as the best, that is beyond the understanding of creatures. That which is brilliant, smaller than small, that on which the worlds are founded, and their inhabitants, that is the indestructible Brahman, that is the breath, speech, mind, that is the true, that is the immortal, that is to be hit. Hit it, O oh friend. Having taken the Upanishad as the bow, as the great weapon, let him place on it the arrow, sharpened by devotion. Then having drawn it with a thought directed to that which is, hit the mark, O oh friend. That is to say, that which is the indestructible. Om is the bow, the self is the arrow, Brahman is called its aim. It is to be hit by a man who is not thoughtless. And then, as the arrow becomes one with the target, he will become one with Brahman. In him the heaven, the earth and the sky are woven, the mind also with all the senses. Know him alone as the self and leave off other words. He is the bridge of the immortal. He moves about becoming manifold within the heart, where the arteries meet, like spokes fastened to the nave. Meditate on the self as Om. Hail to you, that you may cross beyond the sea of darkness. He who understands all and who knows all, he to whom all this glory in the world belongs, the self, is placed in the ether, in the heavenly city of Brahman, the heart. He assumes the nature of mind and becomes the guide of the body of the senses. He subsists in food, in close proximity to the heart. The wise who understand this, behold the immortal which shines forth full of bliss. The fetter of the heart is broken, all doubts are solved, all his works and their effects perish when he has been beheld who is high and low, cause and effect. In the highest golden sheath there is the Brahman without passions and without parts. That is pure, that is a light of lights, that is it which they know who know the Self. The sun does not shine there, nor the moon and the stars, nor these lightnings and much less this fire. When he shines, everything shines after him. By his light, all this is lighted. That immortal Brahman is before, that Brahman is behind, that Brahman is right and left. It has gone forth below and above. Brahman alone is all this. It is the best. For more information, please visit Internet Sacred Text Archive, sacred-texts.com. Earth-loving viewers, thank you for watching today's Words of Wisdom. 